Hey guys, this is Heretic, and in this video, I'm going to go over the Fortress War event in War and Order, starting with the rules and signing up to the map and how to earn points, gameplay tips, strategies, and rewards. You're actually going to be able to see our most recent event and see how the full event works from start to finish. But before we get started, if you're a fan of War and Order and mobile gaming in general, click the like button and subscribe to help me continue providing content like this. I really appreciate all of you. Leave a comment below the video or you can reach out to me with questions and feedback directly on Discord by messaging me heretic number sign 9318. So let's get started. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with a few of the basics. The very first thing you need to know is for your alliance to be able to sign up for Fortress War, it has to have at least 200 million battle power. As you can see in our realm 1402, we're the only ones right now who have over 200 million. But I guarantee you the top three alliances here all participated in Fortress War. How did they do this? Everybody helped each other. So we would send over a few people, they would sign up, we'd send them back home. Same thing, you know, with each of the alliances here. The top three, at least, I'll get in. In your, in your realm, there may be more alliances that are able to do that. So they, you can help each other for the sign up. One tip here, you want to do it as quickly as possible. So whenever this shows up on your events, uh, like upcoming events, you need to organize with the other alliances so as soon as the sign up starts everybody's getting their 200 million they're signing up for the time slot they want and they're getting in if not the first time we did this for example it took a little bit of time it took four or five hours we weren't really prepared for it um for the other none of the three alliances had 200 million so we all had to help each other coordinating that was a pain and it took so long that we all got basically the worst time for most of us which is i think it started at five uh, utc which was very difficult for anyone in europe it was and it's on a weeknight so it was difficult for a lot of people in the americas as well i mean we were able to do it and everything and it was fun but the timing wasn't ideal this last time, because we had the 200 million, we were able to sign up as soon as um, the sign up was available and we were able to get the time slot that we want. So what happens is, I believe it's 400 different alliances can sign up for each one of these time slots. So once 400 in, and there's three different time slots, once 400 have signed up for one of the time slots, you can't sign up. For that one you're gonna have to pick a different time so it's really important for you to organize it for your first time you know if you're gonna have to help each other out all right so how do you get to the event so getting to the event you would click ev event on the left hand side it's up here fortress war season we're in season five right now the way that this works is there's a battle every two weeks for four months for a season after that there'll be a cool down and then the next season will begin so you know there's a total of eight battles uh, for that season and as you go you get ranked up or ranked down depending on how well you do all right so the way that it works and I'm gonna show a map here where each alliance in the group so after you sign up you'll get matched um, once sign up ends and you'll be able to see the other alliances and you can check them out and see how powerful they are you know what kind of castle levels they are and all of that when the battle begins you're put you're put on a map and you have five minutes where it's kind of a peace zone you can't do anything you're just sitting there and you're put randomly on the map um, and difference in the in the outer edges basically so each of the eight different alliances will be in a different spot around the map. 
So the way this works, and you'll, you'll see in the gameplay, and it'll be a little bit easier to understand. The way it works is everybody starts off in you know your alliance's fortress, which will be placed randomly in one of the eight positions around the outer edge of the map. Everyone will start there. You can use three marches. Remember that. You can use three marches total, each person. The the fortresses that you the other fortresses that you see on the map are all um, manned by uh, NPCs at the start. Later on, you know the other alliances will take them, and you can fight to take it away from the other alliance. So you would be fighting them, obviously. But at first, it's all NPCs, and so you'll see your tier one will actually give you 10 points. So the, the name of the game at the end is have is is the alliance with the most amount of points wins the full battle. The better you place in this, and there's eight alliances, the better you place, the better rewards that you'll get. Also, the higher the tier you are, you know, that you're grouping in that season, the more points that you'll get as well. So, okay, so you have the tier one fortresses that are manned by NPCs at the beginning. Um, they will give you 10 points for occupying them. Remember when you take them, right, you will go back to your main castle and then you'll go back out to attack another one. But at least one person needs to send a march and of one, you can just send one cav or whatever over to that fortress to hold it so that you get that 10 points for a tier one, or level one, I guess is what they call it. Level two fortress is a little bit further out, and those will give you 30 points to hold, so three times more than a level one. A level three will give you 50 points, so five times more than a level one. A level four fortress, now you're getting all the way to the center of the map. In the center of the map, you'll see the level 5 fortress. So a level 4, which are right around it. And you need to take that. You can't just go straight out and take the center. You have to work your way there. And so when you get to the center, you have to actually, I believe you have to have two fortresses on that grid around it to be able to attack the center. I believe it's like that. So the level 4s will give you 100 points for holding them and the very center will give you 400 points. So in the end, if your alliance wants to win, you need to add up those points and calculate the number and which castles you can take and hold with at least one march on it, defending it. And you can see that on the map. When you're looking at all of the castles, and you'll see that in the battle, you'll see how many people are in each one of those, and you need to have at least one. Okay, so, th so that's to win for the Alliance. So uh, there's another part of the game here which is pretty interesting. So as you are fighting and as you are holding these fortresses, p you will actually earn these scrolls. So these scrolls that you earn, you can spend and you'll want to do it as soon as it becomes available and you'll see it on the right hand side you'll see a little knights button and if, when you see the red icon appear that means you have a reward so you want to click that and receive your your scroll reward on the bottom right hand side there's an area if you click that you'll actually be able to use the scrolls so you can use the scrolls for different things you can use them for speed up so just as you're trying to get to a castle to reinforce or to attack you can use speed ups and you'll see it it'll be like 500 scrolls or whatever for a 50 percent you don't want to speed very much and i do it in here and you'll you'll see it but yeah it's 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 a sickness you, you don't want to waste them that way if you if you there's there's a few reasons right you don't want to waste the scrolls and you also want to make sure you're with everybody else but the the other thing that you can do which is more important and you'll see me do this is you can actually buy these buffs and they stack and you can buy the attack, HP, and your, your march capacity buffs. So those are super important. 
So you can actually, you know, buy up to four times, five times, six times, 10% of the, um, you know, HP, the attack, and the, um, the march capacity. You can go as high as, you know, depending on the number of scrolls you have, you know, each level, the amount of scrolls it takes to get to the next level goes up, of course. So the higher the level of those that you have, and I think I get up to 60% attack here, 60 and 60% um, HP, you know, as you buy those, it just gets more and more expensive as you go. You want to spend those. There's no reason not to spend those. You can't use those later or anything like that. You can't use them the next time you have one of these They go away after the fight. So you want to use them and you want to get those buffs that'll help you out a lot. All right, so at the very end of the event, and I'm gonna show you here, at the end of the event, you can go back in, you know, you click event from within your castle, click Fortress War. On the right-hand side bottom, click a Night Shop, and you'll get a bunch of these Night Mat badges, and you can use these in the shop to buy. One thing I'm gonna tell you, pay attention to these recruitment speed ups. The very first set is 15 minutes. When I looked at it, I wasn't paying attention. It looks like a one hour. So I, I put all my money into it and you know my badges into it. And it, I, instead of just scrolling down towards the bottom, and I had these uh, one hours. So you can see I bought 150 this time of the one hours. And that's from one battle, I was able to get 150 speed ups. Okay, so and, and later on, as you rank up like as you do this more and more as your alliance does this you'll be able to rank up and get some really you know you know some fragments and emblem chests and you know you can get your lord xp another place to get closer to getting your sos it's a good place so looking at the rank rewards you have individual and you have alliance rewards so the individual you know the more damage you do you'll get um you know some good badges here so it's great and you can actually get these envelopes which are really cool and I don't know uh, how other people do these envelope gifts that you get but we have a lot of fun in, in crown so we save all of these until crown and you know that's eight hours where people are having to wait and defend and you know you're losing troops and everything there so we'll give away you know 50 to 100 envelopes during that event so it ends up being a lot of fun and and it um, keeps the activity up during the, the full eight hours. So anyway, so you also have alliance ranking rewards. And you get these um, depending on how well you do in this event. You know, there's eight spots. Everybody gets some badges. So it's good. Really, you know, I think it ended up with 32, 32K here. 32K from this one and... We in the Alliance got 4,800 because we got second place in this event, but you'll see that. And um, you can look at your season history. You know, the very first time we did this, we started, it was already Battle 5 when our, our realm was able to do this. So we got fourth place the first time. It was at a terrible time, 2,200 UTC. This last one was a little bit better for uh, Europe, and we, we had a lot of players on, and it was a lot of fun, and you'll see this. You'll see it now. And we got rank two. And, you know, with that, I'm going to turn on some music. I'm going to speed up the video a little bit, but not too much. I mean, it is an hour long, you know, 45 minutes long, 50 minutes long. So I need to speed it up a little bit because I don't, you know, it's going to be tough for you to sit all the way through. But, you know, you'll see some of the things that we do here, some of the things that I did. You know, the speed ups, again, I don't recommend doing that all the time. <clears throat> in a couple places I had to do it to reinforce you know I felt like I, I just needed to be there um, but in other places I, prob <clears throat> I probably could have saved my speed ups and you know joined the the attack a little bit faster um, some of the things you know that you'll see is you know we say clear the chat a few times you know having one leader for these events for all events is really important you know having for each I, elite wars a perfect example you need one person to lead that if you have five people talking over each other it's just going to cause confusing confusion same thing here having one leader and this time it was the 
uh, Dullahan, so thank you very much, Dullahan, for helping us here. And, you know, each time, you know, we like to swap, you know, who's actually going to be leading these events, and it ends up being a fun thing. So I hope you enjoy the event, and, you know, if you do have any questions or feedback or any tactics that your alliance uses, you know, let me know in the comments. All right, take care.
delicious dream
Rolling paper, got them talking nice to me Down the bottle, it be going right through me Brown baby, down to take a flight to me They think that I'm stunting, but it's slight to me Piling paper, got them talking nice to me Guess that's why the labels want the rights to me City on my back and it feel light to me They think that I'm stunting, but it's slight to me It ain't coincidental Tell them free the doggies Keep them out the kennel With my same roadies Whipping different rentals Baby girl, what's your sign And what that steez do? Say you got a little bit of cash But can he please you? Started in my DM I might make her be him Wavy Zavy stunting You should come and see him Pollen paper Got him talking nice to me Down the bottle It be going right through me Brown baby Down to take a flight to me They think that I'm stunting but it's slight to me Piling paper got them talking nice to me Guess that's why the labels want the rights to me City on my back and it feel light to me They think that I'm stunting but it's slight to me I done cracked the code, yeah, I'm a hacker now Gotta let them see it, I whip back around I don't need your wifey, she a pass around They don't need to know it when I'm back in town They don't want equations We keep that same energy on all occasions More life to my enemies, won't stop the vision But I do not compromise with competition All my be sounding like it look like These be rapping for them book likes Alkaline charge like a battery How they got the minutes to be mad at me Pollen paper got them talking nice to me Down the bottle it be going right Like it's a robbery Go. Take care of my mommy I know she proud of me Mwah. Yeah 